Jo joining us now is Kurt Wilner. Yep. Am I saying that right? Yep. Hi, Kurt. How you doing? Good, good, good. Fun, fun, fun. Let's get back over here. We'll get, make sure all the cameras are up here and running. We're doing very well. And everything's, wow, everything's working. Everything's Holy good. smoke. That sounds like a plan. Yeah. It, you know, it, it, what a dream day. You know what happened? Um, Mark Fox came in, scared the living daylights out of our cameras and our equipment. Everything started working. Yeah. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about yourself and, and what do you do for Schaumburg Honda Autos? Uh, leading sales consultant in uh, Schaumburg Honda New Car Division. And uh, I'd like to say a shout out to all the troops out there. Come back safe. Uh, Semper Fi Marines. And uh, be safe everybody. Come back home. And, and, it, and it's always, uh, you know, we always run into the Marines no matter where we go. We were up at um, Gurney Hyundai. Uh, and, and Hector is just back and he's got that beautiful white cap on the back of his car. Uh, just to go through there. Now, it, one of the interesting things is there's always been this imagery or people have the, this denotation. And the, these are balloons, folks. We're celebrating here, just so you know. So, see, what are you doing? We're playing with balloons. Um, and it's like, oh, car salespeople. And it's like, really? Well, one out of five people in the United States are employed somewhere in the automobile business. Yep. Okay. And, you know, back in the old days, and I'll say probably the 60s and the 70s, to be polite, yeah. you know, it was a different era. Today, how, how many Honda dealerships are out there? Ryan just said a little bit, you know. Hmm. Too many to count. Too many. You know, let's say let's say there's more than one. You still you still have one competition. Sure. But now, you know, with, with your background, be it that it is military, everybody gets treated the same. Sure. And, they and, do. And, yeah. and, and that's what's nice. People walk in, you try to help them. Sometimes... You know, due to credit, you can't help people. Yeah, that's right. And, and they go, or I want to, I want to buy like seven cars, and I'm not working, and I just want to drive them around for the weekend. Okay, you, you know, you get crazy people. Yeah, sometimes we do. And just to go through it, but the reality is, when someone comes in, how does it start? Do you, do you ask them about their budget, uh, Kurt? You know, where does it actually begin? And it is I know it's a lot due to the client. Going, sure. Look, we've been to 20 dealers. You're yeah. 21. Okay. You know, but. Maybe give an example of someone who's just started to look, and we're trying to break down that barrier a little bit. We're going to have you scoot in just no problem, a little bit. No problem. Yeah. So you, you get it. They don't want to see me. They want to see right. you. Okay. Um, basically, um, you know, physically, I would have the customer your first greeting. You know, your initial greeting with the customer, and physically, you know, be genuine. Be who you are. Yeah. You know, and straight up to the customer. Don't lie to them. Yeah. You know, that's all, simple. It all starts with a test drive, and if they like the product, usually they buy it. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I had a question last week. A friend of mine said to me, you know, Steve, my car is not even running. What do you do then? Um, is it movable? Is it? Yeah. You know, it just it just won't start. Uh, it's worth some money. It's worth something. Yeah, it's worth okay. something. Any car is okay. worth something. Uh, you know, it's a 1978. I won't say the make, but a 1978 <laughs> something. The old, old pickup truck yeah. had just been sitting there. And, you know, you know, what do I do with it? So you might be able to help them. Sure, we can get it towed into the dealership and it might be worth something, you know, a couple hundred bucks here and there, but it's wow, worth something. Yeah, a couple hundred bucks and uh, it, it, it's better than zero. Yeah. And then it gets off the property, <laughs> right? I, and I can see the guy's wife go, you're looking at me, get rid of it. Okay, get rid of that truck. And he's like, no, I've had that truck for 20 years. Yeah, but it hasn't run in the last <laughs> 10. It's like, so that, that's a good thing to know because people, I think, are just a little shy sure. when it comes to that. Yeah, they are usually. Yeah. And what, one of the other things too, Kurt, is that people have this... Uh, I think it's more of a of, of a re, of a reality that their vehicle today is worth X amount of dollars. I think they're finding out a little quicker today that you know their 2002 is worth is actually worth X because of all the information on the internet. And but one thing I think they forget is that when they trade in the vehicle, and let's say they had a five thousand dollar trade, that's actually taking off the sales price, and they pay less tax. Is that right? Yes, it is. Wow. So that's another cost savings. Right, it is a cost savings. So, and, and out here it might be seven, eight percent. So let's say seven percent times five thousand dollars, three hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah, and if you live in the city of Chicago, it's ten percent. So it's a little Holy bit more money to save. Holy smoke! Yeah. Holy smoke! So you, you got to be thinking that you're adding more value to your car, your used vehicle, on a trade-in at Schaumburg Honda Autos. All the Bob Warman, you know, dealerships are great people. You, you owe it to yourself. You poke a little fun at Mr. Warman. Works very hard. Uh, the Bob Warman Business Park opening soon up at Route 53 and Dundee Road. All the best in the world. You know, just a fantastic corporation to deal with. Well over, I believe, 2,500 employees, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. Okay. 
And if you're looking for a position right now in sales, you know, what a better, not a better place to start. Right here, I say start right here at Schomburg Honda Autos. Go to Facebook, go to go to Rorman University. J.R. Rorman, Bob Rorman's son, has a training seminar that they do to teach you how to sell vehicles, but also create relationships. Yeah, that is correct. They go through it. Uh, we're talking with them. They're right across the street here on uh, Plum Grove Road and Golf Road, just eight blocks west of the Woodfield Shopping Center. Yay! <laughs> Everybody keeps asking me, Steve, what's your tie about? Well, here it is. Ready, Kurt? Yeah. We're going to be at the Indy 500 this year yes, at the AJ Foyt Garage. Mm. So uh, uh, we're going to be there live, so please come by. All right. You know, I don't know what days that you might be there, but we'll be there. Okay. You can come on by to say and go through there. And we're also changing this. We said earlier the... Uh, the radio and TV comes 4th of July is changing a soldier's family TV and radio, a reality TV syndication. Well over 200 syndicated shows coming 24-7 uh, in the month of July. And it started right here. Where's the camera? Right here. <laughs> started right here on this, on this little cell phone right here. You can yeah. see it. There's the uh, United States Air Force wings of blue back there. Mm -hmm. uh, coming on. May 19th, my second son, Kyle, graduating boot camp at Lackland Air Force Base down okay. there. All the best to him. And May 23rd, here's my plug, uh, Cadet First Class, soon to be Second Lieutenant, Jared Tomaszewski, graduating the United States Air Force Academy. So a shout out to all the cadets, all the firsties out there. Firsties salute this Sunday in Itasca, right down the street here from Schomburg Honda Autos. Yeah. <laughs> right down the street. So all the Northern Illinois Parents Club, you have a question. A friend of mine, Johnny Bullock had just asked me, he goes, Steve, my, my car's coming to a lease. How does that work when a car comes to an end of the lease? Any idea? Yeah, you can either trade it and get a new car, release a new one, give the keys back, return it, or sell it on your own. Okay, can they buy it? Sure they can. They can buy yeah, it? Yeah, they can buy it back if they choose to. Well, you, you know what makes sense about that? We always said a lease is kind of like moving the front down payment to the end on the residual. It is, that's correct. So if you wanted a $300 a month payment on a brand new vehicle, You'd have to put down ten thousand dollars to get to, to three. Well, not on these Hondas today. This is not. This is crazy. One hundred and thirty-nine dollars a month. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But you know, let's say it was uh, two thousand dollars down. Well, end of term residual might be four thousand. But you're saving that big, big, big down payment. Every plan is different, right? Right. That is correct. And and here's the starting point. And when I'm looking at this for one hundred and thirty-nine dollars a month, you know, a vehicle, no matter what, no, no less, probably the number one vehicle in the world. The Honda Civic, that that is just too much. One sixty nine, Honda Civic LX, but two thousand and twelve, twelve. That's crazy. Yeah, it is. That's crazy. I, like we just said to Ryan a few minutes ago, I went out to dinner with my four children. The bill was higher than that. Yeah, it is. Some yeah. people's cell phone bills are higher than the price. Well, of my cell phone bill is higher than that, so that's a little crazy. Yeah. Uh, just just to get through it. A um, little bit of fun of what we're having. There. All channels going strong here today. Uh, Mr. Wilner, I want to make sure I get that yeah. right. You know, today we're having, or starting this month, is the Mammoth Intense Sale. Yes, sir. Go Mammoth! Mammoth, it's like a woolly beast. Woolly beast, woolly beast. And it's five days only, 1.9%, uh, right? 1 .9%, right? That is correct. 60 months. 0 0.9 for 60? For 36 months. On some vehicles, 0 0.9 for 60. On Odysseys. On Odysseys. Yeah. That's a pretty car. Yeah, it's a pretty car. It's got everything. It's got a lot of features. We're going to go through that. How about a shout out to your friends and families and our soldiers around the world coming up on this Memorial Day? What would you like to say? Uh, guys, thanks for everything you do. All I want you to do, main thing, is focus on your family and get back home safe. That's the show, Kurt. Good to see you Good again. Good to see you again. SchaumburgHondaAutos.com, 847-884-6632. We're going to be right back. We're going to take a little break, and we're going to start talking about some of the specials that are here. And let's see. There's a young man standing up. What is your name, sir? What is your name? Wait, 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 wait. What is your name? Alvin? And what's, no, not at whatever. What's her name? Celeste? No, no, no. Oh, what is it? Elvis. Elvis. And what's her name? C C Celine? Elvis and Celine want to sing a song. Oh, Elvis Presley and Celine, Celine Dion want to sing a song. We'll be right back with the Soldiers Family Radio and TV talk show. <laughs> Thanks, Kurt. Thanks. There we go. Good job. Thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No problem. Get them all back here. Get them all back. Every one of them. Thanks, Mr. Wilmer. You're more than welcome.
Thanks for being here. Schomburg Honda Autos.com, 847-884-6632. Ask for Ryan. I'm Steve Tomaszewski. Godspeed. Hurry home. Good night, Chester.